talk about some other news now. The co-pilot of a Chinese passenger jet is doing remarkably well, considering that he was sucked halfway out of the cockpit when the plane's windshield blew out. This frightening incident unfolded at 30,000 feet in the air. Unfortunately, the co-pilot was buckled into his seat, and that meant that he only suffered scratches and a sprained wrist. The broken window caused considerable turbulence, as you can imagine. Flight attendants were thrown around the cabin. Some electronics in the cockpit were malfunctioning. Uh, amazingly, the pilot of this Airbus jet was able to control the plane and make an emergency landing uh, in Tibet. And this is an incident that comes nearly a month, of course, after the death of a New Mexico woman who was partially sucked out of a window on a Southwest Airlines flight. Joining me now is Alan Armstrong. He's a pilot. He's also an aviation attorney, and he's going to give us a little uh, look-see here of what was a very bizarre situation. Tell us about, uh, Alan, the kind of conditions that a pilot and a co-pilot would be experiencing at 30,000 feet if they had a broken windshield. Brianna, good afternoon. Uh, the pilot and co-pilot would have a very violent ride. The airplane would be shuddering and shaking, they wouldn't be able to talk to air traffic control. It would be a very, very difficult environment to control an aircraft in. Very, very difficult for the pilot, very stressful. So is this like the worst possible time for this to happen? I mean, they were at cruising altitude at 30,000 feet heading from China to the capital of Tibet. No, it's not the worst possible time. The worst possible time would be, would be approaching to landing and have a loss like that. That would be very distracting at low altitude. So it's not optimal, but it's, 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 the, it's not the worst that could happen, no. So some of the equipment was malfunctioning, as we understand it, in the cockpit. What, what would that have been like for the pilot? And in addition, they can't hear air traffic control. They're trying to, uh, you know, keep the co-pilot, uh, obviously just keep his person inside of the plane. How would they be handling the malfunctioning of equipment? Well, it's, it's really bedlam, frankly. Uh, in that particular aircraft, you see up here in the center of the panel, and that aircraft, the autopilot and the flight management systems up here, and from the photographs I've seen, the system was displaced by the failure of the windshield, so that was gone. So now you're flying on raw data. You know, the pilot's having to fly on raw data. He doesn't have the aid of, 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 a, of, a, of a co of, a, of, a, of an autopilot to, sit, to assist him. So it's a very, 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 very difficult environment for the captain. And he's trying to fly the aircraft and save his co-pilot from being exited out the aircraft or, or sucked out the airplane. All right, Alan Armstrong, thank you so much uh, for showing us exactly what they were dealing with. We appreciate it. And next, we're going back.